Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Lego phone stand. And not just any Lego phone stand. A free Lego phone stand. Yes, I got this set for free off of Toys R Us. And I decided to use it or put it to good use. So I just thought of the first thing that I thought would be useful to me and of course this was the first thing that came into my mind what else could there possibly be now you see me you saw me just shake the phone and it did not come off it is very sturdy on there so I'm going to be sh taking it apart soon and showing you how to put it back together and wait for it and now, as you can see, I'm back to my speedy pace on this part as well. If you saw my last 250 subscriber special, which is what this is also, again, thank you all for, right now, over 250 subscribers. I think we're a little over 260. I'm hoping to hit 300, I don't know, in a couple weeks. Well, let's see what we can do. So, I just want to show that these two pieces did not come in the set. They aren't needed to make this, but they sure do help out a lot. So, I would suggest trying to find two pieces like that. Anyways, now on to actually building the phone stand. I'm going to take this long 8x2, I believe. Maybe six by two. And, uh, let me see. We're just making the bottom of it first and then we'll start connecting. So we're going to take that one and put it on the bottom. So three of those. Then we're going to need these slanted orange pieces. This set was called, uh, Creative. Orange, orange creative set, I'm not sure. But as you can see, then we use that red 4x2 and that orange 2x2. Two two. And we're going to connect those with this piece here, which is another one of the other one, just a different, slightly different color. And there is another slanted piece and another. Stick that one right there. This phone stand can come in ha handy when you're, well, you don't want to use your hands to hold it if you are uh, doing something with those hands. Never mind, okay. Anyways, back to the build. I'm putting, I'm starting to build up the top the tower thing. So, a couple of 2 by ones I believe. Uh, there we go. Put that one on top. Oh, and there was a 3 by 2 at the underneath that. Those are the 2 by ones And you're going to need another 2 2 by ones in a different color. Because that's what the set comes with. And then we're going to use these slanted pieces in the back here. There we go, now back to the front. We're going to be taking this one. Wait. Oh, those are those. That's a weird triangle thing. I don't know what those are called. It's got a little slope on the end with the two inner pieces away. And then this two by one with the jagged on the side. That's for decoration, I guess. Then we're going to level out the back with the 2x1 flat piece and the 2x2 flat piece on top of that. Then we're going to take this window piece, which I don't know why this came in an orange set since it's white, but I won't argue, it helps me in the long run. 
We're gonna take these two white tooth kind of pieces, put those on the top. They aren't needed to be tooth pieces, they just happen to be in the set. You can replace that with a two by one. I know this probably isn't very interesting to listen to, but it's I guess it's a little more entertaining than just watching me build it slowly. Anyways, now we're going to take oh we're gonna level out the back side with a one by one, two of those. Again, this would be much simpler if I wasn't constrained to the this set here. We're gonna take this weird kind of rounded slope piece. Put that on there. You're gonna need two of those. Then this one by one and another one. It's convenient that they have two of each color so that I can make it kind of symmetrical. Then we're going to make a little design here. We're going to put these two eyes onto this red sideways piece. Or the studs are also on the side and the top. So that you can put things on the side like these eyes. And they aren't needed but it looks cooler than just a normal brick. Then we're going to... Don't, don't look at that. Now we're going to put this pickle... I mean, well it's a pickle color. The pickle piece on top. That's what it's called now. It's a pickle piece. It's nothing else. Then we're going to also put this piece with the stud in the middle. This is really important. You're going to need two of those. It, using two makes it much more sturdier, but one will work. And then we're going to start building the top that holds in the phone. So we're going to take that one weird curved slanted piece, put a 2x2 two two and a little corner thing on top. Then that one that does not come in the set, that rounded sloped piece. And this green kind of flower piece, that will be used underneath the slope. This red piece fills in for maybe a four long one by four, but we don't have that, so we're just going to use this. As, oh, wait. And this is the moment when I realized that I screwed up. Wait. I need to take this off. We forgot this four long piece, four by two, goes underneath that. So just, that's an easy fix, I just forgot to mention it while building. So put that like that, and there you go. Now to finish the top, we, t we put the, oh, I'm not, I'm not done, don't do that, Jake. Okay, we put this red one on the other side and put this 2 by one in the middle of that. I know it's kind of hard to see me building that part, but I'm sure you can figure it out. You guys are smart, I assume. And there we go. That was an easy build. It didn't take too long for me to figure it out. So I built this specifically for the size of my phone in my case. But you guys might have a different kind of phone, so you might need to put more or less bricks on there so that y it will hold it. So I took one of the things off so that it, it could show that you can take that off. You could also take off another layer if you needed to. But we're going to show one more time me putting in my phone. Oh. Never mind, we're going to show the decoration part. So this is where you can get a little fancy. You can put a decoration wherever you want. So for example, this came in the set. You could put this on the front of it. It's a little propeller that spins around. It sticks on pretty nicely. Although it'll 
be a little uneven when you set it down. Or you can slant it in the back a little. This piece also came in the set. Mini figure. This one does not have bendable legs, so I just wanted to show that. One more thing that I forgot is this piece from an Atlanta set. You can use the decorations, just a sticker even, in the front for a little bit of uniqueness. This piece also came in the set. You could take out those two on the side and put that on and this brick separator piece you can kind of use as a selfie stick even though your phone you will not be able to hold it up with your phone in it but you can hold that away if you feel like it and ta-da another thing oh I'm going to show one more time me putting it in you just take off the top and you put that on, the little green piece in the front holds it in nicely. Series 2 Disney Crossroad figure soon, and I'll see you then. So, goodbye.